Hello and welcome back to another LNER 377 review and today we have the Helgen class 33 in rail freight distribution livery. So this is the box, um, it's standard Helgen box with the ice packaging uh, and let's see what we have on the side. So it's a class 33 2. The batch number is 33371. The number of the logo is 33206 and it's in the rail freight distribution sector livery. And it takes an 8 pin decoder to chip this. So let's get it out of the box. It's quite easy to get it out. Just put the box over there. And so there you can see the loco in the ice packaging. So we need to get this out. Ooh, come on. So there's the loco in the ice block, and here's the instructions. So these are the instructions for the class 33 2. And as you can see, we have a lot of history about this one so if you want to pause the video now do so so you can read that um, this is also something that's about the model and this is just where you put all the detailing parts and all that and how to DCC chip it I don't really need them yet so let's focus in on the model and let's slide it out the ice packaging. Now, first things first, this thing is with it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. So, comment down below if you know what this is. And under here, we have the detailing parts. So, if the camera is going to focus in. So in there we have some couplers, um, just loads of bits of detail. We have the snow plow, which I might put on, because it might look good with this uh, 33. And just other bits and bobs. It's just mainly spares, because it already comes fitted with detail. So let's unclip this, and release the loco from the packaging. Ugh. There we go. Put all the packaging to one side. And there's the loco. Right, let's get this plastic sleeve off it. So now you can see it, sorry about that, in all her glory. So now I'm going to give you a bit of a um, history on this loco and uh, some specifications. So there is built by the Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Company. They were introduced in 1960. They have a wheel configuration of Bobo and the weight is 77 tonnes. Their maximum speed was 85 miles per hour and the engine emitted 1550 horsepower so now into the history of the class 33 2 the final batch of 12 locos which this was this was one were built at the narrower loading gauge for the Hastings tunnels making them appear narrower than the class 33 O's and 33 1's and I will show you that later on in the video. But before I do that, let's have a close-up of the 33 and let's see what detail she comes with. So on the front, we can see it already comes with pipe work fitted. It has, of course, got sprung buffers. We have the number, which is 206, and the Blue Star multiple working logo. We have metal handrails, warning stickers and 
fitted window wipers. Let's move along to the side and as we can see we've got the sort of logo of a power station that looks like Battersea. We've got metal handrails, a nice lovely grill there, excellent bogey detail. Moving along we have the fuel tanks at the bottom with a nice lovely gauge there, more pipe work. Then we have the split double grey, we have the lighter grey, the darker grey and the roof grey. We have the very nicely applied rail freight distribution logo. And I don't know whether the camera is going to focus in on this but we do have Oh, you can't. I think that's illegible, but that's the um, the manufacturing plate. There's the number again, thirty-three two hundred six, and a very nice BR logo there. And also, they have fitted an open window, which is very nice. The only criticism is the bogies are not, well, not the bogies. I mean the wheels and not been painted black so they look a bit shiny um, and then moving down to this end which is the number two end we've got sprung buffers again I'm not sure if the lights do light up but on my previous class 33 they did and I've just noticed this little red logo there now, if anybody can tell me what that means, I would love to know. It's got 73 and then an A there, so I'd love to know if you know what that is. And we've got very nice fitted detail, such as a coupler and vacuum tubing. And now let's have a look at the roof. Now, as we can see, we have nice horns there, which are uncovered. I'm not sure why. But I do believe these are ventilation things for the cab. Moving along, we have nice grills along the body side. Well, yeah. And I believe that's the exhaust. We've got very nice body clips. And at the end, we have the fan. You can't actually see it very well on camera, but there is actually a fan down there. We've got rivets and we've got some more of them vents and that brings us back to the front. The uh, the orange cant rail has been picked out very nice. I'm very sorry for that uh, annoying thing that in the background but I'm not going to stop the video. So let's put the class 33 down so you can see her. And let's get my other class 33 out. So this is a class 33 O. And I'm going to show you some differences in a minute. So I'm going to stop the video and get the camera in a better position. Okay, so I have now got the, the camera into a better position. So I will be able to show you the difference in the width of these two locos. So this is the 33O and this is the 332. The 332 was built for the Hastings tunnels which were incredibly narrow. And hopefully you will be able to tell that this one is a lot narrower than the 33O. I didn't think Helgen would actually do this, but it is really good that they've actually um, did a separate moulding for the two locos and it really is thumbs up for Heldrum for actually bothering to do that because they could have just left it and just said that was a 33 oh and that was a 33 too but used the same body and uh, I don't think people would have really recognised it and there's also another quite a few differences between the this one and that one 
Um, this one has got these steps there, and this one doesn't. This one has actually got a headlight at the front, and that person's doing that again. And this one doesn't, and that's just a smooth front. And also, you should be able to tell that the body overlaps the sole bar on the 33O quite a bit. Oh, the camera's gone a bit funny then, but you can see it. And if I get the 33O, you can see the body side is just pretty much the same width as the sole bar. Making this the one of the 12 that were converted, well, made for the Hastings branch. So, I will give you a run video. I'm not too sure when, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to give a like, comment and subscribe. And I have got a shout out to make, and that's to Glowswitch Junction. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But go and check his channel out and subscribe to him. Uh, he's building a layout, so it'd be good if you can go and support him. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.